bit about the session overview. I assume that you're in the right place. If not, this is probably the appropriate time to get up and go. Um, you're here to actually see how you can actually do more with our partners with your ECM uh, solution. And a part of this is something that's been going on for a couple of years now. And it's really starting to get mature in the partners that we work with, which we have. This one's uh, Jadu, and the gentleman from Jadu are actually from the UK, and John is actually a former perceptive guy. So uh, what was key in this is that he actually understood kind of working on both sides of this. So it's been a great time um, working with them. They do web content management, right, kind of a general thing. But what we're working on them is specific to portals. And the thing you can remember about Jadu is, is that this is a great way to be able to e coexist with your existing platform. Or you can use theirs, obviously that's a big part of what they do. Um, but to allow for those who don't normally have access to content within perceptive content, to be able to view it, um, you know, to log in, whether it's students, vendors, um, all that kind of stuff. And it's drop dead easy. So as I mentioned, they do web content management. That is their business and they just dominate, uh, particularly in Europe, they are a UK based uh, company but are expanding. So they, they do that for a, a lot of different organizations, whether it's higher ed, um, government, uh, nonprofits. Um, but what we work with them is to be able to create a way for it easy to have the documents, whether it be stored in a certain location with certain parameters around them, to actually get fed through their system. It could be also a part of a workflow and put and published out to um, multiple devices. And they use uh, a response-based HTML platform. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it means when you resize the screen, not sniffing on what, it's, what, what device it is, but when you resize the screen, it reconfigures. So the idea is that you can have the same uh, portal viewed on different devices and it will be rendered differently and optimized. Not because you went in and said, okay, if it's an iPhone, do it this way. If it's a tablet, do it this way. If it's a PC, do it this way. Because they've actually already built that into their, uh, into their platform. And this is an example of their portal that's going to go, we'll see how far this goes. They're using as a vendor, uh, this demo of the vendor portal, where we actually, um, awesome. Here we get to the next screen. I want to show you what it looks like before we got into the tool, how it's actually configured. And this is the tool. So you can see these are widgets and they can be moved around. You can go in and add content. You can, add, you can see the widgets on the far left there. And I'm hoping we can get to a point where they built widgets for perceptive content because I think that's the key piece to see in this demonstration. So these are the two pieces right here, and this is the one place where I hope it hits. Yep. So this is a, a configuration as you can select within perceptive content what it is and the parameters of what you want displayed for that particular widget. Right? So you can have 10 different perceptive widgets that all have different parameters on what it is that you want to show. In this case, it's showing uh, the invoices associated with that. They've got other widgets. Right, if you've got somebody who says, I have to have social media in this, why is that Jadu is a web experience solution provider, uh, which basically means that we have four, four products that make up our platform, which are the web CMS to drive small websites or gigantic websites, uh, your portal products, online forms, and mobile applications. Um, speaking specifically about what we've done within the perceptive uh, realm, is we have built some integration um, widgets in our CMS that actually allow customers to provide access or push content from Perceptive to websites and portals. So think about the, uh, the users or the people that you wouldn't consider licensing to use Perceptive content, but still may need to access documents and content that's stored there. So students, vendors, patients, employees, faculty, all the people that aren't licensed users of Perceptive but may need to access their personnel file, documents in their employee personnel file, uh, or a student that needs to access transcripts and things that might be stored in Perceptive. Um, in addition to the integration that we built within our CMS, uh, we've also built some integration within our forms product, our online forms product that allows you to drive transactions. Uh, transactions that may not necessarily be linked to Perceptive, but specifically for ones that do. You create a very intuitive form that has a responsive design on the front end, so as users are accessing them, it doesn't matter if it's a mobile device or a desktop computer. Um, they can sign in, they can fill out a form, they can stop halfway through, they can come back. In the end, we have integration that after that form's completed, 
it gets pushed over, it might just be filed away in a specific drawer in perspective, or it might trigger a workflow and drive a process. Um, that document and that process then live in perspective. So we've done a lot of hard work and uh, there's a huge value I think for customers and we've gotten some great feedback. So.